On several Susquehanna Express webisodes, we've discussed Mission Central, which is a disaster relief organization located in Mechanicsburg, and it's actually where the studio is located. And so today we're going to take a behind the scenes look um, with some of the staff members at Mission Central. Well, I'm excited to have you guys here today. Thank you. Thank you for having um, us. Can you give a brief background about what Mission Central is and does? Yeah, Mission Central is a disaster relief organization primarily, and we also do a lot of other things. We make resources uh, for people to be able to do ministry at their churches and also around the world. Uh, Mission Central houses six other ministries besides themselves. Uh, goes anything anywhere from food all the way to uh, medical supplies, uh, kits that go overseas, computers, all kinds of different things. Uh, there's furniture and things for people that have to start over in life because there was some disaster in their life and they could be referred by a uh, pastor or, or a 501c type 3 organization that they can get new housewares. There's so many exciting things going on at Mission Central. Um, what is one of the holiday uh, activities that's going on here? We have two different things. Um, for um, Mainly for fundraising, we do um, a Give Differently campaign. And we have an um, event where we send out mailers to people and they um, can send in, rather than buying just frivolous items at Christmas time, they can actually give a donation to Mission Central. And, it, and that can be in any uh, denomination that they would like. It can also be in memory of someone or in honor of someone and that way they can see their money is actually going to help other people rather than just buying another toy for a child or you know another small item that you know may end up as we say in the family uh, yard sale next summer. Mm -hmm. so. There's always new initiatives popping up here, um, but what would you say is what a typical day looks like? Um, you're the executive assistant to the executive director and you're the operations manager. Um, what, what's a typical day at Mission Central? Well, constantly from the time we get here on, the phone rings, of course, people <laughs> either wanting things or want to donate things, which is a good thing. Uh, we have a donation center outside, uh, orange door outside the warehouse. People can bring things there that to donate and we take everything except TVs. Okay. Um, we take medical, we take food, we take clothing, we take uh, just about anything that you can think of that we can hand on to somebody else that could use it. Yeah, I remember last year, was it, there was an MRI machine, is that what it was? Correct. That yes, was a trailer. Yeah, yes. so mm -hmm. that's exciting that you get all these things and God finds a way to place them with who they need to go yeah, to. I actually so. got a um, uh, ultrasound machine from a tender care pregnancy center. Okay. Uh, and that probably will end up someplace in Africa, I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah, it's exciting. What's a typical day look like for you? Well, mainly it's just um, I do a lot of the tour scheduling and a lot of the executive director schedules and letters. We did a mass mailing today. Um, we're just constantly doing it's either working with people. I handle the finances as far as the income that comes in and we send out thank you letters and um, answering the phones and some days it's everybody kind of pitches in wherever you're needed. As we were talking earlier we had said um, th or you had said that you've always had a focus on missions. What drew you to wanting to spend so much time of your life working in a mission field? Well, I guess after I gave my life to the Lord several years ago, uh, my first thought was I wanted to be involved in something like Habitat for Humanities or something like that. So I started out doing missions trips to foreign countries and stuff to actually build churches and things like that. And over the years, it just evolved into once I uh, retired from my full-time job, I was able to have more time. I started at a food bank and started uh, volunteering, driving their trucks and stocking their shelves and just one thing led to another and I ended up at Mission Central two years ago. I think um, my gift is helps and helping other people that brings me so much joy mm -hmm. and I think to see the end result as we say here we have God moments mm -hmm. and see God work every single day and we try not to take that for granted when you know someone calls and needs a particular item and we say, well, no, it, it, it's not here, and then it, it comes in the door, and it's just mind-boggling. It just is so amazing to see God work, 
and it's so rewarding. That's, that's the best part of the job. Can you think of one particular God moment that you've gotten to see together since you've both been working here at Mission Central? A lady had called, um, she was going to be sending some things overseas, I think it was to Africa, and she wanted some medical supplies, and she had gotten them from us before, so Jean Norris had gathered some things for her, and in the past we had gotten, you know, maybe a couple boxes of things. Well, Jean had gathered a whole pallet full of materials for this lady, and she was supposed to be coming on a set day, and she didn't come, so she came like two weeks later, and she came in, she brought this small car, and she saw the amount of things that we had, and she was like, oh my word, I'm gonna have to come back. I, you know, it's just, my vehicle's much too small for this. So she ended up coming back um, later that day, but before she left, she said, I have a strange request. She says, I'm looking for a wheelchair that has these really odd wheels on it. Hmm. And she said, they look like bicycle tires because they can go over any type of terrain. So I said, well, we don't have anything like that, but you know, we don't know. So I said, we'll, we'll see what happens. So she leaves. And in a few hours, this ministry comes in, another ministry comes in, and they have, they walk up and they say, we have this wheelchair, and it's really odd. It has these <laughs> bicycle tires on it. I almost fell over, because I was just <laughs> amazed that it happened. And I said, I know exactly where that's going. And as I'm talking to this person, and they're wheeling it into the, wheel, into the uh, warehouse, the lady is walking up the ramp. And I said, here's your wheelchair. And she burst into tears. Aww and was just amazed that that's, that's how God worked, that quickly. Yeah. And to see that, um, to see that happen in front of you is amazing. So. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's our answer right there as to why you wanna spend so much time yep. in mission to be able to see um, God's provision of how he can place the right people yep. at the right time. Um, and what a wonderful way to work together as a couple and um, just grow closer together as you grow, yep. grow closer to God, so. Yep. Yeah, well, there are certainly a lot of God moments here, and I thank you for just sharing a little bit about that and a little bit about what goes on here at Mission Central. So if you would like to learn more about Mission Central and the ministries that happen here, you can check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express. <laughs>